Hello, 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 beautiful soul. Tis the season of Thanksgiving. And every day we can be thankful and grateful. So for the next two days, 48 hours more, you can, because this is beautiful soul appreciation. From my soul to yours. All of our, hey Nita, all of our ebooks on Amazon are 99 cents. <laughs> so if you've been waiting for like a super good deal on our books, here it is. What are they? Our very first, what I consider my first joint collaboration with the angels is Sacred Angel Realms, a pocket guide into nine angelic hierarchies. So the first chapter is all about um, guardian angels. The second chapter is all about archangels. And the next seven chapters have 47 different angels in them, who they are, what they do, how they can help you, and how you can ask them for help. Because without the how, the rest of it's kind of like, yeah, that's nice. So here's a cover. Well, actually, it's the real book, but here you go. <clears throat> okay, and you can do all kinds of things. You can read it from the front to the back, or you can just open it up and take a look because you will find exactly which angel you're to look for or to work with, and that will help you. So then our next book was a compilation, like a collaboration of. Um, Hey, William. Hey, Kate. Of compiling over two and a half years worth of channeled angel messages. Maybe you knew and maybe you didn't that in the very beginning before there was readings, before there were healings, before there was any of this. The angels and I started working together and they were kind of like, you know, a little sneaky about it because who was I to be channeling messages? Who was I to be talking to them? Who was I for them to be talking to me and then sharing about it? Because, beautiful soul, you can experience angels in your everyday life just like physical people. Anyway, so we took a couple of months and we pulled together different um, angel messages. So there's now a collection. 365 daily angel messages for healing, inspiration, and guidance. And of course, it's about raising your vibe. Everything is about raising your vibe. So you have a crystal clear connection for guidance, answers, messages, your purpose, your work, your career, your anything, your everything, right? Relationships, um, mending, bringing in, letting go, <laughs> manifesting your dreams. And you can, there's no date on here, but there's like day one through day 365. And one of these, day 133, is pivot towards the light. So you have different messages, okay? And what a lot of my clients do who have this book, they'll simply open it up and whichever angel on whichever page kind of stands out more energy, more um, resonating, then that's the one that they work with. So there are 365 daily angel messages. And I started to tell you the short version of this story. So for two and a half, nearly three years, every single day, 24 seven, day in and day out, the angels and I, or I was their channel, their vehicle, their vessel for channeling their messages of inspiration, encouragement, support, um, healing. And when we first started out, I had a small perpetual calendar on my desk because I used to be in my day job um, eight years ago for nine years. I was an executive administrative assistant I was the only girl, and besides that difference, I was working on my spiritual path. And I knew I needed something to help me balance because I had started having a foot in each realm, the spiritual realm, 
and the physical realm at the same time. So I found this really tiny calendar. It happened to be by Doreen Virtue. They call it a perpetual calendar. It was real small, and it sat on my desk. I didn't want anything big in their faces. I was already different. I wasn't trying to bring more attention to myself. It was just about helping me stay grounded and open at the same time. So one day, I saw this quote on the calendar. I don't know which one it was. I don't know what it said. And I typed it out and I sent it out to, I think, six friends. That was it, left it alone. And a couple days later, one of my girlfriends who was going through a lot of stuff on her own or in her own life and business, she says, you know, I read it and read it and read it and read it again. And I went, hmm, maybe I'll share more of these quotes. So long story short, by the time... A couple of weeks, I'm being kind of guided just to share a little bit more with you. A couple of weeks went by, and then I started adding a little message, and I would get inspiration from whatever the quote was of the day. And so I would type out the quote, and then a little something. And then it didn't take long before I realized the quote and the message had nothing to do with each other. And I went, okay, that was a little unnerving. I didn't yet realize that I was channeling the angels because I was still doing this at my day job at my desk. So sometimes it would take like two hours to get it done, right? My boss would need something. And I would get messages back from my friends. By this time, I think there were a couple dozen people getting this is all from a personal email account no business no readings no nothing nothing on the horizon no lights going off yet no bells right and i would get messages back hey this is really helping me because i'm going through this and this and this and this and this and then like, okay great so i finally stopped by the bookstore one day and i got one or two angel dictionaries of that okay so then at the morning before I really got ready for work. I would have a cup of decaf <laughs> because I was still getting back into my body. I think it was half decaf, half caffeinated anyway. So I would open up an angel dictionary and whatever name I saw on the page, I would read maybe like two or three sentences. And so, okay, so I <clears throat> kind of get into that angel's energy. By this time, I did know I was channeling angels. And I would just sit there and say, okay, so what's the message for today? And it would start coming out of my fingers. And I thought, oh, that sounds too much like what I'm going through. So I would back it out. And it would come right back again, word or word or word. No, no, no. And then by the third time, it came out exactly the same way it did before. I said, okay, I know that's not me because I wouldn't be able to recreate exactly what I had just said or what came through me. And the way I know that it's channeling, even to this day, and I called it streaming way back before we had live streams on any kind of media, was that the thought landed in my head the same time it was coming out of my fingers. So it was simultaneous. It wasn't thought, word, and then type. It was boom, one thing. Kind of like you turn on the faucet and the water comes through, something like that. So. Two and a half, three years later, still just kind of sort of getting into, okay, I guess I'm supposed to be doing this on a bigger scale in different ways. And um, there were 300 people receiving the angel message of the day. Still no formal business, but we were starting to put a website together and those things. So years later, this is how this book was born. Again, 99 cents, 48 hours more. And then the next book we did was Angels, Success, and Prosperity, Become a Mover and Shaker of Your Reality. And this one really took me to <laughs> step out of the spiritual closet, as I often encourage y'all to do. And it was it, some of the stuff. Now, here's this one, okay? This one is in part about my journey, but it also, of course, has angels in it. And chapter one, eight ways spiritual entrepreneurs measure success and prosperity. 
and there's definite things in there. Um, and there are angels in here. So like on your page 13, I don't have my glasses on. I'll have my helpers on. Page 13 in this book. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> so everything's backwards on this side. We talk about how or a few ways of how Angel Matalzadek, who is one of my primary guides, helps you protect you from stumbling and getting discouraged along your path, make the right and best decisions for you, your business, and your spiritual path. And all of these techniques, strategies, insights, mindsets, beliefs, everything can be translated and used utilized, taken advantage of in a good way for your personal life because here's something really cool about the angels, in my humble opinion, is that they really don't care which area of your life or your energy you want to start with because whether it's financial, whether it's your path, whether it's your purpose, um, your business, your career, your relationships, because when you work on one area, beautiful soul, you're actually working on the others, because in order to raise your vibe in one way, fine tune your frequency, you lift up the others. That is what's so cool about this work. Anyway, so um, the angels want me to share with you a little bit more about what the chapters are in this one, okay? So I'll just read the chapter highlights. So chapter one, we just shared with you eight ways spiritual entrepreneurs measure success and prosperity. Is it an all-inclusive or exclusive list? No, it's just eight ways. Chapter two is who are you being? Who are you being? Are you hiding yourself? Are you holding yourself hostage? And there are, what, two angels for each chapter to help you work with each one of those sections so that you really, really get it. And it's not just the why and the what, it's also how. I don't know about you, but I have read so many books that give you the why and the what and the when, and you go, okay, I'm ready. Uh, how do I help connect the dots? And then it'll give it to you. Well, all of our books do that because that's the way we do things. Okay, so chapter three, are you stepping into your value? Are you? I'm continually working on that so that I can create more space for my ideal clients and customers and myself. Because the more you value you, this is not your nose up in the air, you're not, your stuff don't stink, it's not that, it's if you don't appreciate who you are, what you bring to the table, what you left behind, what you let go of, Holy smokes, you are selling yourself short. Even if what you want to do is be a CPA, an artist, um, if you don't want to be teaching what I call this side of the table, that's not required. What if you want to get that promotion or get a better paying job? If you don't totally believe in your own assets, your own skills, your knowledge, and your gifts. How are you going to land that awesome dream job or build that dream business that you know is inside you? Not impossible, but it sure makes it a lot tougher. Okay, so chapter four. <laughs> Fear freezes all your assets. Fear freezes all your assets. And chapter five, what is your true reality, really? Remember, the name of this book or the tagline is become a mover and shaker of your reality. <sighs> and then chapter six, what's next? What if you could? What if you could? And then transformation from the inside out is crucial to your ultimate success and prosperity. And in each one of these six chapters, there are two specific angels, who they are, what they do, and how they can help you. Pretty cool. Okay, and then this book <laughs> was two years in the making. We started it, and then 
how the books came about and some life changes came about and some major holy smokes um some major human issues i during that time i gave the house back that i had purchased to the bank i went through financial restructure because i'd gotten into some trouble and let's see the laptop that i was using at the time died and took five and a half years worth of work with it <laughs> thankfully i was led to by my own angels to find all of the work all of the content all of the everything including and at that time i was working on um, sacred angel realms okay thankfully everything that the angels and i write as far as our books is handwritten in notebooks by pencil or with pencil so anyway and this is a lot longer than i anticipated so two years after this one was started we finished it our first of five volumes conversations with angels raising your inner vibration mentally and emotionally and there are 17 different angels in this book asking questions it's me asking them questions have you heard of um, Neil Donald Walsh's books, Conversations with God? I started reading those, and the angel said, we want one. I said, well, you want one what? Well, we want our own book. I said, oh, my God. Okay. And it took me probably about a year to get ready to do that. So it's actually three years in the making. That's this one. And there are 17 different conversations. And the way we did this is so there are questions that I wanted answers to, and there are also questions that my clients have asked over the years. So I thought, okay, so we just started doing this, and it's really a conversation. And the angels' answers are all in italics, and their name precedes it, so you can tell where or who is speaking and doing what. And I wanted to show you. Okay. So I think maybe you can get an idea of this, okay? I'm not sure how well that came out. But anyway, these four books are all 99 cents for the next 48 hours. That's 365 daily angel messages. Okay. Angels, success and prosperity. Sacred angel realms. And Ray, um, conversations with angels, volume one. And the link is there in the post. Please share this. One of my clients, um, Diane, who has recently become a certified uh, mentor in Angel Dream Team and an intuitive card reader, she sent me an email this morning. She says, I have all of your printed books, and now she's going to be getting all of the ebooks so that she can carry them with her and have them as reference no matter where she goes. What an awesome idea! And we're talking less than $4 because at 99 cents each, there's no shipping. I don't think there's any tags on Amazon. I'm not sure. But how awesome is that? You can get all four of our major publications. And yes, there will be more books later. But you can get all four right now for 99 cents each. This is one way that I can honor you and thank you for being a part of our online community, for sharing the path and the journey with me, with us. Have an amazing day, beautiful soul, and please do share this. You never know, maybe one of your friends wants to get in on this good deal too. All right, bye-bye for now, and thank you for being here.